There you go now fellas, here we go. You can set that bloody stupid phone up. I'm sick of it already. Anyway, here we go, Young Henry's Dr. Rot Pfeiffer's Vienna Lager. How's that looking? Dark. Looking real dark. Get an opener. Big bot. It's gonna fill the glass. That's always good. Hate it when you get a little bottle from overseas, 3:30, and it doesn't fill the glass properly. Anyway, this has. So if you know Young Henry's, I'll just tell you about it if I can. Milford Street, Newtown, New South Wales, and this is their crack at a Vienna Lager. Jeez, it's got some colour, the caramel there, isn't it? Beautiful head. Cheers, fellas. Lovely bouquet on it. And it's uh, actually really smooth. Mmm. What do we call that? A kick-ass lager. It's not too bad at all. That's good. I'm sort of getting into these spiced lagers lately. They got a bit of colour. They got plenty of malt, and they're sort of flavoursome. Oh, yeah, it's good. And now we've got um, some anime music on, a bit of my daughter's music. Yeah, that'll probably get me black band. 5.3%. You see that one out there, fellas? It's worth buying it just for the label. I like the label. I don't know who that scary prick is in the garden, eh? Maybe he's not here tonight. Oh, no. Nice beer. Thanks for coming. A decent sized bottle too. What's that? 2.7 standard drinks for the bot. 6.40 mil. Alright, not 7.50. But not too bad. Better than 500. <coughs> Alright fellas, travel story. I'll tell you about first time I went to Thailand. And I've rocked up. I had no idea what to do in Koh Samui and they sort of gone to different bungalows on the way around the island and you sort of checked them out and they go, oh this one you can stay 75 cents a night and it was really basic, you had to share the toilet and shower it was on a pretty average beach and I thought, no, no, keep going next one was sort of okay well, the guy we were talking to, he wanted us to come to his one, so we said, yeah, right, we'll go to your one. So I went to his one, and it was fantastic. It was really good. The name of it was Chai Hut Bungalows in 1985. It was um, early July, and we rocked up. We got out of the truck, and the truck kept going, you know, with other tourists going to other places, travellers and tourists. Just got off the ferry. And uh, we walked up, and there's the sign. Chai Hud Bungalows, Sea and Magic Food. And there's a picture of a fish and mushrooms on the sign. And I thought, hang on a minute, what have we done here? this could be interesting and it was one of the first things they took me to was the uh, water buffalo fights and the guy from their village Bo put his buffalo one and they were pretty fucking crazy you know it was like a real eye opener because we don't have water buffalo fights over here and um, no, no, it was probably a week later. We went and visited that guy. He lived not far up the beach, and he had all these tents, and he had.
about all the water buffalo manure in the tents with soil and stuff and he was growing the most wicked mushrooms you've ever seen known to man the colors the purples the blues it was amazing and we went there one day and picked out the ones we thought were the most exotic <laughs> we were crazy really we shouldn't have grabbed those ones yeah it was a bit of a night anyway you don't want to be going there when you get older I don't want to be going there any time, really. I don't know. Overdo it, you fucked. There's no turning up. Oh, hang on, no. I don't want to have that much all of a sudden. Or, you know, but you've had enough mushies for five people. Well, get ready for the trip of the lifetime. You said it was for me. No, it's for everyone. Oh, thanks for coming. All right. Well, that was, that's what it was, and that's what it is. And here it is. I'm out of here. This is really good beer. Young Henry's. Give it a crack. Lovely. Thank you. Cheers, fellas.